<laughs> oh dear. Here we go. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the flyest host of all? All right, the reason we're all here, babies, to get to the money. Nothing to it but to HQ it. Let's get it cracking with question number one. What accessory did Brianna sing about in her 2007 song of the summer? Top hat, bow tie, or umbrella? What's it gonna be? Come on now. Y'all know what's the deal. We are talking about Riri, babies. Ella, Ella, eh, eh, eh. It's raining. 2007 was a weird time. Uh, the financial collapse was about to happen. Uh, the original Hills was still on TV. But at least we had this absolute jam. Umbrella, 243,232. Got it. Let them rain for I'll be all you need and more. About those point multipliers that I brought up earlier. Now's the time when you can help yourself to some of them, okay? You can get one right now. If you see it on your screen, start this season off strong. All right, all right, all right. Hit the whoa. That's the new dance the kids are doing. It's like this. Whoa. I, I'm gonna learn it and I'm gonna perfect it. It's gonna be great. Question number two. According to her hit song, Demi Lovato is what for the summer? Hot, tepid, or cool? What's it gonna be? What is Demi Lovato for the summer? She's sorry not sorry for releasing hit after hit and slaying these vocals, especially on the uh, 2015 hit, Cool for the Summer. Cool is the answer I was looking for. How many of y'all got that right? 168,432 knew what to do at question number two. We're gonna move on to question number three, babies. Bing, 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 bing. Here we go. Question three, in the place to be. Who released last year's hit song of the summer? I like it. Megan the Stallion, Cardi B, or Miley Cyrus? Hmm? Who's it gonna be? Just when this song got out of your head, we're dumping it right back in. It was good then, it's good now. It's Cardi B, take a listen. Fun fact, I met Cardi B 10 years ago. Before all this craziness happened, I was working at a comedy club. She wasn't, and uh, shout out to Cardi. Love you, sis. All right, 206,780. Got it right. Moving on to question number four. Knocking at your door. Let's Here we go. Question number four. Nelly Furtado collaborated with which producer on her hit Promiscuous? Mark Ronson, Timberland, or Missy Elliott? What's it gonna be? We gonna see. The year, 2006. The song, shockingly saucy, coming from a crunchy Canadian whose previous hit was I'm like a bird. Timberland helped with that new sound, Timberland. <laughs> Promiscuous girl, you're teasing me. 164,171. You got what I want, and you got what I need. Promiscuous boy, let's get to the point. All right, question number five. Ah, 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 ah. Question five, question five. The music video for Iggy Azalea's Fancy pays homage to what film? Legally Blonde, Clueless, or Mean Girls? Lock in those answers, babies. All right, all right, all right. I'm so fancy. You already know. Before Iggy disrespected Britney Spears and kind of fell off and had some weird pictures come out, we thought she was a new pop sensation. Especially with this great music video. Take a look. I'm so fancy. You already know. 
That looked like an outfit Anna Roisman has for HQ Words. <laughs> it's true. 131,680 you got clueless. That's what it was. And now you're with the homies. On to question number six. Let's go. All right. The music video for which of these hit songs features an instrumental dance break? You remind me, Super Bass or Crazy in Love? What's it gonna be, babies? Check it out, when Usher is dancing, he's gotta bring his best dance moves. I mean, I mean really. This is, this is so impressive. What a triple threat. Go ahead, Usher. U-S-H-E-R-R-A. Y M O N D. Now, baby, tell me what you want to do with me. Got to like Joe to see. You remind me is the answer. You reminded him of a girl that he once knew, and he sees her face whenever he looks at you. Twenty-eight thousand. Whoa! 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 Savage question. I gotta do it. Savage question song. Sorry, you got it wrong. Savage question song. There's a savage question song. Instrumental dance break was in You Remind Me, okay? 28,259 got it right. Yes, Beyonce was dancing in Crazy in Love, but there was no instrumental dance break. That was You Remind Me, babies. Come on now. U-S-H-E-R-R-A-Y-M-O-N-D. Now, baby, tell me what you want to do with me. I love that song so much. I hurt my, I hurt my pinky when I was, I was trying to do the Usher handstand. It was bad. It was pretty bad. Question seven, according to the lyrics, where is Fetty Wap just before getting fly with his baby? The streets, the club, or the mall? What's it gonna be? Ah, 1738, probably everywhere, but in, in, in one of the greatest songs of the summer ever, a song that constantly plays here at HQ. Uh, they're getting fly at the mall. It's going down. Take a listen. I just left the mall and getting fly with my baby girl. 25,179 got it. The mall. That's where he was getting fly with his baby. If I was a rapper, that's where I'd get fly with my baby. The mall. I ain't been to a mall in so long. I go to thrift stores. Look at this suit. All right, question number eight. Hope you're feeling great. Put up the mug. Can we do it? It's going to make me giggle. Nope. All right, fine. I don't know where he is. He's on vacation, I guess. Here we go. Question eight. LFO's Summer Girls mentions which historical figure? Johnny Appleseed, Paul Revere, or Christopher Columbus? What's it gonna be? Check it, we've asked about light funky ones uh, gibberish lyrics before. The song makes no sense, but it's delightful to listen to. And it mentions old patriot Paul himself. Take a listen. Dad took off when you were four years old. There was a good man named Paul Revere. I feel much better, baby, when you're near. Scooby-Doo snacks macaroni and cheese. <laughs> That was an actual lyric in that song. Scooby-Doo snacks, macaroni and cheese. I said, what in the hell is happening to my ears? Perv, Pearl, oh dear, okay, hang on. Paul Revere, that's the answer. One, <laughs> Scooby-Doo snacks. 19,094 just got it right. That means we're moving to the first question where I'm giving you money, okay? The first prize of the night. If you get this question right, you got a choice to take the money or keep playing for that $35,000 jackpot. Y'all ready? Hmm? Are y'all ready? Well, we're gonna see. Get this one right. You can't use an extra life right now. This is a prize up for grabs. Here we go. The singer of Jesse's Girl acted in what critically acclaimed TV show? True Detective, Breaking Bad, or Westworld? Y'all get this one right. I'm gonna throw some money your way, all right? So it's up to you. 
what you gonna do? Rick Springfield really wanted Jesse's girl, but you know what he got instead? A long lasting career in stage and screen. If you got True Detective, it's decision time for 15,453 of you. I'm making an offer. And I'm rubbing my hands weirdly. 20 cents to 15,453 players. What are you gonna do? Three more questions till the next prize. Y'all gonna take it or you gonna keep on playing? That's your call. 3,002 players chose to take the 20 cents. Smart move. You do this every day, that's gonna add up. You know what I'm saying? All you gotta do is make the question nine and you feeling fine. But the rest of you, brave souls, risking it. Dangerous. Ooh. Ugh. My palms are sweating again. Here we go. Question number 10. What hotel does Nelly post up? What, what hotel does he post up at in hot in her, according to the lyrics? Ritz Carlton, Beverly Hills Hotel, or Four Seasons? It's getting hot in her. Her. <sighs> Not just the Four Seasons, the top of it. Check it out, lock it top of the full season. Penthouse rooftop, birds I'm feeding. No, this even nothing up my sleeves in. No teasing. I need you to get up, up on the dance floor. Get up, man, what are you asking for? Yes. So the simplicity of this song was ridiculous. It's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. That makes sense. 9,379 of you got it right. It checks out. If it's hot in there, take all your clothes off. Question number 11, all dogs go to heaven. Who was not in the viral video that helped Carly Rae Jepsen's breakout single become a hit in the US? Vanessa Hudgens, Ashley Tisdale, or Selena Gomez? Who's it gonna be? Also, shout out to James, he's leaving us. I'm gonna miss that guy. I really am. Have a safe trip in Paris and a fun time, brother. <laughs> All right, lip syncing to Call Me Maybe was just like, it was like what you did in 2012, right? And kicking the trend off was her fellow Canuck, Justin Bieber, with then girlfriend Selena and buddy Ashley Tiz. You know what I'm saying? Take a look at this. This is crazy, but here's my number. So call me maybe. But there was no Coachella queen, baby V, Vanessa Hudgens was not there. 3,441 got it right. That's a savage question. Woo! Savage question song. Sorry you got it wrong. Savage question song. That's a savage question song. All right. Now we move on to the second prize of the evening. This is your next chance at winning some money. So remember, extra lives and erasers are not gonna help you here. Let's do this, okay? You ready? All right. Question 12, of which song did Entertainment Weekly declare you cannot do this song seriously at karaoke? Fantasy, Heartbreaker, or Vision of Love? All right, the song that ruled the 90s. The song that every pop artist from Beyonce to Rihanna to Christina said influenced them. It's Mariah's Vision of Love. 4,586 got it right, and I've got a vision of a prize. Oh boy. I'm offering 44 cents to 4,585 of you. Take it, stay, leave. It's up to you. What do you want to do? What do you want to do, babies? 1,266 of you decided to take the 44 cents. Congratulations. You're 44 cents richer than you were when you started. You can still hang out and watch the rest of the game, but we're moving forward. Question 13, next prize, three questions. Here we go. This song was written by the band that wrote What Other Hit. Take a listen. Do you believe in magic? Daydream Believer or Turn, Turn, Turn? What's it gonna be? How's your neck? 
Getting dirt and gritty? That's the loving spoonful who also did Do You Believe in Magic? Do You Believe in Magic was the answer 3,084. Y'all got that right. 81 of you thought it was turn, turn, turn. Mm. What? Question 14, babies. Coming at you right now. This question is your last chance to use an extra life. If you've got one, last time to use it, okay? After this, it's just, it's crunch time. You gotta use your brain. All right. Here we go, question 14. The top song of the summer in 1991 featured heavily in a movie about what? Musketeers, flashy dancing, or band of thieves? What's it gonna be? Everything I do, I do it for you. When you hear the song, now it's hard to remember that it was originally written for Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Band of Thieves is the answer I was looking for. 2092, y'all got that right. Y'all came to play. That's what I like. So I'm giving 2092 high fives right now. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep going. It's for everybody. What am I at? 12? All right, cool. It's more high fives. I'm, we're just going to keep going. I'll get you guys tomorrow. The rest of you, if I missed you. Question 15 this is our next prize, all right? More money, more fun. Let's go. No more extra lives after this. Throwing that out there. Okay, in the Old Town Road video, what is the last thing said before the song starts? That's a horse, horse, let him ride, or mama. What's it gonna be? Can't nobody tell us nothing. This is HQ's pick for Song of the Summer right now. I'm gonna offer you some money if you got mama, because that's the answer. 1,933 seen it. Ain't nobody tell me nothing. I love that song so much. I'm offering a dollar and four cents to 1,933 players. We got three questions till the next prize. What do you want to do? You think you got another three questions in you? Or you want to take a dollar? That's on you. That's up to you. Okay? Woo! Woo! 705 players chose to take that dollar and holler when they come back later tomorrow or something. All right. Ooh. Next prize, three questions. Cheryl Crow reportedly said she didn't want what hit on her album. All I want to do, soak up the sun, or if it makes you happy. It's getting serious, y'all. Cheryl's brother is the one who convinced her that the song was actually good. And thank goodness, because it was a big old hit. All I want to do is have some fun. I gotta, whoa. Damn, Daniel. Back at it again with a savage quest. Savage Chris is on! So you got it, bro! I don't even feel right singing it, man. This is sad. Dang, homie. In high school, you was the man, homie. What happened to you? Woo! Woo! All I wanted to, 52 of you. Um, wow. That's crazy. All right. Question 17, after this one is the next prize. So get this one right, get the next one right, and I'm gonna offer a whole bunch of money because a lot of y'all just got knocked out. You got knocked out! Okay, here we go. Question 17, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 features a voice cameo by the singer of what? I Kissed a Girl, Umbrella, or We Can't Stop? What's it gonna be? I always do that face when I'm trying to figure out what y'all gonna do? I just... All right, three great voices, but it's Miley who voices a robot in the post credits. We know that twang anywhere. We can't stop is the answer I was looking for. How many of y'all got it right? 32 knew what to do. Oh shoot, look at you. Come on now. Come on now. 32 players still in the game. Whole bunch of money up at stake. What's about to happen? I don't know. This is the next prize question, question 18. So make sure you tap carefully, okay? Here we go. 
Oh, boy. Question 18. Brandy recently took the stage and uh, replaced lyrics in The Boy Is Mine with what? The song is mine, the money is mine, or the boy is fine. Brandy threw a little shade at Monica during her set at the 2018 Essence Festival. Reigniting the feud, or just a fun little jab. We'll never know. The song is mine, is what she changed. The song is mine, I'm sorry that you Seem to be confused, he belongs to me, the boy is mine. 20 of you. I'm gonna about, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you some money. Cool. Wow! Oh boy! $92 to 19 of you, it's Thursday. What were you doing besides this? Take the money. It's $92. Get out of here. 16 of you, oh boy, oh boy. All right, well congratulations to Jeff and not Shaq and Double Y and Lipium or whatever, congrats. Question 19, next prize, three questions, here we go. Question 19, an animal species that appears to have a golden butt is named after the singer of what, which hit? Jenny from the Block, we belong together, or irreplaceable. What's it gonna be? This happened in 2012 when a previously unnamed species of horsefly that happened to have a golden butt was named Beyonce. True fact. That's a true fact, yo. Great. Oh my gosh. That's the game. The game is over, babies. Here we go. I swear, this new format be making me sweaty. Oh man. Congratulations, Eights Quizzes. 16 of you and all the other people that decided to tap out. That was smart, you made some money. It's the Beyonce fly. That was all over the papers. Okay, I've been your host. Matt Richards, this has been a lot of fun. Honestly, I love coming here every day, and I can't wait to see y'all again, okay? Hit me up on the socials, at Matt Was Funny. Don't go far, HQ is starting uh, with words. Coming up real soon. Anna Royceman, she's gonna be here. If you know how to spell, you know how to win, okay? Bye.